Hi, I'm Erin Salwasser, POC Clinical Application Specialist for GE Healthcare. I'm here with Elizabeth Erickson Newman, and we're excited to introduce you to the new MSK Toolkit feature on the Venue family of products for point of care. The Venue, Venue Go, and Venue Fit. Let's get started. Shoulder Diagram is a tool that is meant to aid the user during a shoulder assessment. By allowing the user to document findings and assign them to specific anatomical zones on the left or right shoulder. The diagram contains a left and right side that the user can swipe between. Each side displays an anatomical diagram of the shoulder containing the following zones. IS, infraspinatus tendon, SSP, supraspinatus tendon, GHJ, glenohumeral joint, ACJ, AC joint, LHB, long head biceps tendon, and SSC, subscapularis tendon. To begin, select the correct probe and preset from the patient page. In this case, I will select the L420T RS probe and the MSK shoulder preset. The shoulder diagram and reference images appear on the left side of the screen. The left or right side of the shoulder can be selected by tapping left or right. I will start with the right. Tap the desired zone on the shoulder diagram. In this case, LHB. The correlating comma will appear at the bottom of the image. The user can minimize the reference image or the diagram at any time by tapping the X at the upper left hand corner. Tap each icon again to display them. The graphics display includes probe position, anatomy, and reference image. Swipe right or left for additional views. Reference image is available only when using the shoulder diagram. During patient scanning, the reference image assists in acquiring the correct view and orientation while performing a scan. Press play to watch a dynamic video. Make the image display larger by tapping the enlarge button above the window. Tap again to shrink. Scan the anatomy of interest. Obtain the desired image by tapping freeze, then store, or a video clip by simply tapping store. A list of findings will appear on the left. Tap the desired finding to label that zone. The label will appear on the stored image. When an image or video clip is stored, a camera icon will appear in the selected anatomy on the shoulder diagram. To switch the graphics display and video, tap another view on the shoulder diagram. The corresponding view will appear on the graphics display. When all desired right-sided views have been captured, tap left below the shoulder diagram to switch to the left shoulder images. Continue with the exam, storing images or video clips and adding findings from the provided list. Once scanning is complete, Shoulder Diagram provides a simple and fast tool to help with the image labeling for documentation and patient follow-up exams, both shoulders in one view. Bilateral is available when using the Shoulder Diagram and Reference Image. Bilateral mode allows comparison of the same zone. To activate, tap Bilateral, which is located on the right side of the screen. The screen splits and the live side of the screen is highlighted with a blue frame. When scanning the right shoulder, the active scan is displayed on the right side of the screen and vice versa. Bilateral mode allows a synced option. Synced automatically reloads the scanning parameters from the selected stored image and applies them to the live scan image which appears on the other side of the screen. Synced parameters include gain, depth, dynamic range, focus position, and frequency. During live scanning, imaging parameters can be adjusted as needed any time. To resync the images and return to the original settings, tap Resync. The system does not sync labels, body marks, or annotations. Two by two 
allows the review of images from a previous exam by using the exact same image acquisition setup, side by side with a live image. To exit bilateral, tap bilateral or split. Tap review to review the images. Stored video clips will display a movie reel icon in the bottom right corner. Multiple images for each zone can be captured. Swipe left or right within the zone box to display each image. To review an image from a particular zone, double tap the image to enlarge to full screen. The follow-up tool allows the user to scan a patient while viewing images from a previous exam at the same time with a side-by-side -side comparison. The user may select a previously stored image to appear on one side of the screen. The system will then automatically restore the scanning parameters, labels, body marks, and annotations from the selected stored image and apply them to the live image. Follow-up scanning allows the user to use consistent scanning parameters from exam to exam on the same patient for image comparison. This may assist in assessing a patient's condition over time. From the patient page, select Local Archive. Tap the patient exam that you will perform a follow-up study on. Tap Review Exam on the bottom of the screen. On the review screen, select the image you will use for comparison by tapping it. Then tap Follow Up. The selected image from the previous study will be displayed on one side of the screen. The other side of the screen will display the active image. The side of the screen displaying the recalled image and active image is configurable. The imaging parameters, comments, and body marks from the selected stored image are applied to the active image. Scan the anatomy of interest. During live scanning, imaging parameters, comments, and body markers can be adjusted as needed any time. To resync the images and to return to the original settings, tap Resync. Synced is available only on a B mode, color, and PDI image. Synced cannot be used with pulse wave, M mode, or with special features such as auto VTI, auto B lines, Auto IVC, real time EF, lung sweep, venue view, needle, or biopsy. When the desired image has been acquired, tap freeze and then store. The follow up tool can be used in conjunction with the shoulder diagram. The diagram will be displayed on the one side of the screen, and the other side will display the active zone. The active zone on the diagram is highlighted in orange, as it is while using the shoulder diagram without follow-up tool. The zone and side labels appear on both sides of the split screen. All markings on the diagram, such as camera icons and findings, refer to the active exam. Ensure that the correct side and zones are selected. When shoulder diagram is active, select a zone and then tap the follow-up button. One side of the screen displays the image in the selected zone, and the other side displays the active image. The scan parameters used to acquire the original image in the diagram are applied to the active image. The synced label appears as it does when using the follow-up tool when no diagram is used. When the user selects other zones on the diagram, the corresponding image will be displayed. Scan the corresponding shoulder anatomy, Freeze and store. If the recalled image was acquired with a different probe from the one that's currently active, a message appears stating that a different probe was used. If the recalled image was acquired with the same probe, but a different preset that is different from the currently active exam, the recalled preset automatically becomes active and the synced label appears.